Magnetic Single Edge Finder Toolmaker's Chair. In this video, we're going to make one. This is the first video that is featuring the Wire EDM machine. If you would like a copy of the Wire EDM program or a copy of the prints, leave a note in the comments below. Well, what does a Toolmaker's Chair do? It attaches magnetically with embedded magnets so that you can use an indicator and the center line of the spindle to pick up an edge of a workpiece with an accuracy of plus or minus one tenth. I've also included bonus footage of a toolmaker's corner chair. Please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. The wire cutting program. If you take a look at the photo on the left hand side, you'll see a hole. That's where we start our program. It is best to start your program from inside of the actual workpiece instead of coming from the outside in. It helps prevent warpage after cutting. On the right hand side, if you take a look, you can see the arrows and that shows the direction of the actual cut. Okay, let's see this thing in action. Time to separate the two pieces. We added two small embedded magnets by drilling two 3 16 holes and then putting the magnets in with epoxy in behind them so they will not come out again. Sandblasting. I know you're not supposed to sandblast. You're supposed to use glass medium, but I didn't have any. By using sand instead of glass, there is a possibility that you could have altered the size and dimension and finish of the actual part. Engraving the Shop and Math logo. Like Beyonce says, if it's worth doing, put your name on it. So what we have here, this is called a chair. So we set this guy on here. So I want to indicate, let's say this edge. Pretend I don't have an edge over here where I can indicate from. So I'm going to set this guy on here. It's magnetic. So it sticks. So I want to place this kind of in the center. So I'm going to go here and go here to kind of get it in the center. So I'll lower this down a small amount. So I can, I'm making contact a little bit more contact than I'd like. So I'm going to back off a bit. So I'm at zero there. Basically you touch off on one side, move to the other side, divide that number in half, move your x-axis, in this case it's the x-axis, to the other side. So we're at a half thou and a half thou on both sides. The bonus footage. Toolmaker's corner chair. Okay, so now let's say I want to pick up the corner. I have no other sides here except for this corner. Well we can use a magnetic edge finding for the corner. Slide that guy on there, push it down, lower our Z, and then it's the same as indicating a hole. Once we've picked up this hole, we are basically over the exact edge of the workpiece. So we're right on the corner of X and Y. And to pick up the hole, you just keep moving your X and Y handles until the dial reads zero, zero. Okay, so now when we swing around, we're zero all the way around. 
Okay, just to show the accuracy of the setup, this was made just to make a video. We noticed that the vise isn't even mounted, and none of this stuff is actually tight. When do you use a toolmaker's chair or a toolmaker's center chair? The only time you're really going to be using them is either in a CNC or a jig bore machine. Very rarely you'll use them on an actual milling machine. Um, and you'd only use them when you're using ground parts because it's very precise. Or if you just want to do a really fast setup because these are very fast to use. If you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. If you have any ideas for future videos, let me know in the comments below. To make sure that you don't miss out on any other great videos, like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Thank you for watching and have a great night.